Tell us about this source of yours. The one who calls himself Anonymous? Well guys, you asked for it, and I enjoyed really playing this game a lot, so we're gonna continue on. At the very least, we're gonna finish the first chapter. There are three total chapters, the new one actually came out this year. Uh, just a little while back, as I've been informed, so let's do it. Um, well, he's the mouse, and he's into beatboxing. Mm. Uh, I don't burn sources. Yeah. Do you realize how much trouble you've caused? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> nice. Hmm? What's going on? <gasps> Earlier, at Trails End in Cypress Knee, another death investigation. Alright, I'm playing three people. I forgot about that. Oh, God, if I knew that was gonna switch over then, I would have cut the video here. Oh well. Um. Normally, I'd never bring Reggie to a scene with a dead body. It's my night with him, though, and I'm a reporter. This is my job. Just hope the ex-wife doesn't get wind of it. <laughs> yes, she will. I also hope it doesn't scar him. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> you messed up, man. You messed up. Is that man really dead, Daddy? Um... Uh... Don't touch anything. Wait here while I talk to Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but then ice cream. You promised. Ah, uh, okay. With him, I'm gonna avoid every single qu question I can. Evening, Jack. Hey, Ozzy. Tell me the news. Mr. Swayhill here tried to bore a hole in his engine block with a 22 caliber pistol. Ricochet right through the left eye. Ooh. Natural selection at work, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. <laughs> Anything else? Um. About Swayhill, no. But I was curious. What brought you back to Cypress Knee? I figured you'd be on to much bigger things. Uh, person virtuous, uh... Not like you went anywhere. Ever. Okay. <laughs> I love this game. Hang on a second there, Jack. <laughs> Sounds like we got another dangler at Chief Roadsides. Someone famous. Might be Bieber. Okay, guys. Really? This Jackson Lawrence Bellet, you brought our son to a crime scene? <laughs> I love this game. Um, time to change the subject. Enjoying your new car, Tamara? Yes, <laughs> and you helped pay for it. Um, I'm a drug addict. Drink water. I've done bad things. Everything has a price, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> Act menacing. Can't say what I'd do if I lost Reggie. But it wouldn't be pretty. Are you threatening me, Jack? Uh... You do something with your hair? <laughs> Smooth as sandpaper, Jack. <laughs> Speaking of Reggie, I'm gonna check out this other dead body call over at Chief Roadsides. It's your night with him. I've got clients here looking at mobile home rental options. So... He... Is gonna avoid his son. He's a tough guy. He knows what's up, he hates everyone, he's done bad stuff, and he gives no fucks about anyone. Uh, I can only imagine how much that taxes your vast real estate expertise. To be fair, he doesn't need to be nice to her, it's next wife. Fine, you owe me. That never changes. Okay. Oh? Huh? Where are we going? Oh, swapping scenes. Yeah. Okay. Where to? 
Chief Roadside's Wonderland suffers from a double-edged fact. It is and isn't what it used to be. Look, it's a rest stop. Before Disney World, but after Interstate 95, Chief Roadside's was perfectly situated. Now you've got golden arches, pigtails, or chicken joints off every exit. Mm, now the Wonderland's an appalling relic. Most motorists zoom right by, never giving a second look. And the points. D freak show. Uh. Who gives a damn about cultural sensitivity tonight, though, right? We've got a dead actor right on the outskirts of Cypress Knee. Big news in my backyard. Well, is this going to be? Is this the same act? We were investing Some the other. Some people don't give a possum's pecker whether Tag Kern's alive or dead. Oh, we got bigger problems. Really? You've headed out for the Silloway family since old Merle ate your baby, right? Shut your mouth, Bellet, or you'll have grits for teeth. Oh. That was out of line. Been a rough afternoon. What's the problem, Mr. Gallant? Oh, come on. No, no. Be Mr. Tough Guy. Come They're on. They're pumping natural gas from below Cypress Swamp for a big development project. They want to run a pipeline through my house. Uh... No big loss. That takes... Well, yeah, that does take permits, doesn't it? Well... The story's lead writes itself. Developers knock down Jefferson Dean Gallant's house, causing tens of dollars of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Never considered you a friend, Bellet. But I'd hoped you'd at least give my concerns a fair shake. Look, thanks for your time, but I really should talk to someone about Kern. Don't be an irresponsible jackass. I can point you to proof of government malfeasance right here at Chief Roadsides. All right, Mr. Gallant. What's the proof? Go see who's parked outside the Mohawk Inn. It'll be interesting. I guarantee it. This is my ex-wife. I'll humor you this one time. So basically, so far we've played just two assholes. And I'm loving every moment of it. <laughs> In the parking lot of the Mohawk Inn, you spy an official town car from Cypress Knee. What nice license plate. All zeros. Closer inspection suggests it's the town car assigned to Gary Buckingham. Chairman of the Cypress Knee Council. Guess Gallon was right. Time to find a wayward town official at the motel. Wow, well, well uh, It's the wife. I, I don't want to talk. Uh, I guess it's just the voicemail now. Okay. Sure. Th thanks. That was actually the fine. The Gallant property is an obstacle. Ooh. Eminent domain's a tough nut to crack on this project. That's their idea of pillow talk. Look, tough, everyone... maybe. Not impossible, right? Look, everyone has their own thing. Also, I love how I'm not even hiding. I'm just a staring right through the window. Like, Eh, I give no fucks. It's possible. Expensive, though. We're not just fudging dates on a permit here. Yeah. Just complete stalker. <laughs> just, just. That ought to go nicely with a front page article. Yeah. We don't need housekeeping, Jim. It's Jack Bellet from The Notice, Mr. Chairman. Huh? Well, I guess you better come in then. The hell? What brings you to Chief Roadsides, Jack? Those are interesting sounds. Great question. Not much of a hangout for locals, usually. Fancy seeing you here, and Eula. Oh, no. I I'm here alone. I was like, what the hell's going on? Like, they tie her up? Okay. Two people were talking in here, man and woman. 
The senses play tricks out here by the highway. I bet she's in the bathroom. Windows jammed, Gary. It's not what it looks like. Looks like the town council chairman and the chief planning officer skulking around a sleazy motel. Okay, so it is what it looks like, but it's not what you think. You're hatching some scheme to get the gallant land through eminent domain. Fine. It is what you think. But you can't prove it with circumcised evidence. I think you mean circumstantial. Uh-huh. That's what to say. <laughs> no, Eula. If I meant taking the long way round, I'd say that. What? Oh, I think that's circumlocution. It's got nothing to do with putting anybody in the electric chair. Anyway, Jack, how's the wife and kid? Yeah, well... Divorce is finalized. Tamara wants full custody of Reggie. So, you know, just great. Oh. Anyway, can we all agree this isn't newsworthy? Hmm. Oh, it's newsworthy. Two public servants conspiring to steal land sounds like news to me. Yep. And then he's not going to say anything back. <laughs> oh, I'm just ruining everyone's lives. Everyone's lives must be ended. Evening, Jack. You're coming with the rest of the sharks, huh? Uh, life could be worse. I could be mopping pigeon shit at Florida's least popular amusement park. Oh. Nice thing about this shit job is I don't have to answer questions from second-rate print wretches. Well played. Okay, okay. Look, if you can't take it, don't dish it, right? Oh, help us help you. Oh, God. Fix this now. Just, just this. Just, just this specific thing. The sign. Fix those signs. Are you sure you're in the right place? I ask myself that question a lot. I'm sure you have many questions. Perhaps I can help you with deeper questions? Good to know. But I'd like to talk about Kern. What do you want to know? Well... How is he in bed? Oh, that's not an option. Shit. Um... Did you talk to Kern at all today? Briefly. We had a counseling session this morning. Confidential, of course. How long was Kern a weist? Really, Mr. Bellet? Must you use the pejorative term? He was a member in good standing for 11 years. Did Kern seem upset, depressed, anything that might suggest he was suicidal? I can't offer specific details due to the confidential nature of our relationship. Is there anything else? No. I'm done for now. You son of a jerk. Mr. Bellet. Perhaps you'd like to sit and take our test. I'm not here to take some flaky test. <laughs> Cranky pants. Then excuse me, I have pressing matters. <laughs> yes. Um, what? Oh, I thought I was going to take the test. I was like, wait, I didn't want to. <laughs> I already know how well I'm going to do. Ross Stevens. Well. Took him long enough. Okay, okay, answer. Hey, Ross. I'm on the scene at Chief Roadsides. Inmates running the asylum over there, or what? Hmm. The current story has been scooped, but I got a lead on government corruption. Listen to me. If it bleeds, it leads. I want a story on Kern. Hell, I could even use some inches on Swayhill. I know. But I caught Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean conspiring to seize land on the Golden Cypress deal. Golden Cypress isn't news. I need an article ASAP. It better be something I want to read. Okay, this guy's an asshole. I hear you, boss. I don't like him. I have a good story. And he doesn't want any of it. <sighs> no, no. I will go with my, uh... With my story. Raw and egg... 
in this love nest, oh my god, more than passions were implemented in a gritty motel room at Chief Roadside today. The reporter found the pillow talk to be less sexy, but just as dirty. It seems Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean were getting cozy about the land deal to develop Golden Cypress. When caught with their pants down, Eula tried to pull out... This is, I love this. Through the bathroom window. From the sound of things, local land owners will be the ones bending over. <laughs> it's a photo of them. Standing in the motel room. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. Beautiful. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Hi, right, boss. What is your problem, Jack? You allergic to good sense? I report the news. Yeah. I told you Golden Cypress wasn't news. You asked him to get fired? Yes. You got people banging down the doors to write about the next Chamber of Commerce chicken dinner? Oh, snap. <laughs> This guy's a badass. You better watch out. <laughs> Why are you hampering an FBI investigation? What are you even talking about? I was only doing my job. You could go to prison and face a major fine, Mr. Bellet. I could lose my son. That'd be so much worse. Oh... Uh... So, he's a badass, but he cares for his son. Okay, I'll I give him that. I was a hero. I saved lives. I had a badge. It meant something. I used uh, to matter. Times change, Monroe. I was like, I read the dog. <laughs> Left small town Florida. Got a job as a Hollywood cop turned private investigator. Pissed off the wrong people too many times. Now, I'm back in Florida. Can't even hold a job as a mall cop. Yeah, been a hard year. Um, I got laid Beefy off. Beefy Mart's going bankrupt. Tough times all around. I used to matter. Not anymore. End of the road, Monroe. Ooh, Donovan Miller. You got called. You can do this later. Don. Blast from the past. Evening, PC. You still in Orlando? For the moment. Why? I got a job for you. Hmm. So, I think we're just going to go normal with him. What's the gig? He's had a hard time. He can't be an asshole and have a hard time because then he would have deserved it. Hank Hearns did. Killed himself up here in Cypress Knee. You're all stopping grounds, right? Mystery solved, sounds like. All right, on my way. Okay. Oh, Monroe. Monroe, let's go home. Ah, good dog. I like that dog. It's a nice dog. Oh. Okay. Home. Not really sure what the word means anymore. <laughs> Floating size. This Florida cracker town helped make me what I am today. It's my So far, it doesn't look like much has changed since the last time I stopped by this moldy flea speck in the swamps between Jacksonville and St. Augustine. Doubt you've heard of it. Until tonight, at least. Thanks to Tag Kern. Look. This guy's had a hard life. He grew up here. Welcome to Wonderland, I guess. Spent a lot of my youth here in the Digital Smoke Arcade when I wasn't dropping water balloons from that tower. Okay, look, I'm trying to make you out to be a good guy here. Don't make you sound like an asshole. The corpse might still be warm, but something tells me those vultures from the Church of Us aren't far away. Uh... Mm. It's in the air. That stench of weest self-importance and smirking menace. Well, let's go to the diner. Oh, Monroe's gonna follow us. 
A good doggy. He looks old. Poor dog. Hopefully he's okay. Ah, glad you could make it, Casey. It's good to be home. I didn't realize I missed the stink of this place. What is that smell? The swamp, right? Ugh, can't wait to get out of here. Let's cut to the chase so I can start the meter. Why does Red Eclipse want Kern's death looked at? Look, the studio can't wait for the official police findings. So the other people that were trying to snoop around, not good enough? You in a hurry to leave the wonders of the swamp behind? Exactly, and a lot of money's at stake. Insurance claims need to be made ASAP. Frankly, we don't have faith in these Barney Fife types. Bean counters. World comes to a standstill if their ledgers don't tally. Okay, I'll do what I do. Send you regular reports. So guys, such a good guy. He's had such hard times. Look at him. He's a go-getter. Hi, Tina. You want to grab a cup of coffee? You and Donovan go back a ways, I hear. Uh... Yeah, back in my Hollywood glory days. Yeah, wow. So you happy polishing old glories, or will you get back in the game? I'm here talking to you. Yeah. The conversation is quite scintillating, I'm sure. Listen, the studio has got me looking into Kern's death. You mind answering some questions? No, this can be later, come sure, on. Sure, you're probably no worse than these other vultures. Can you listen to what I'll say? Eyes and ears open. I try to keep axe grinding out of this. Good. I feel like no one really wants to know how I feel. Just what I can give them about Tag. Look, the other two are complete assholes. Can you blame them? This guy, he's had a hard past. Give him some slack. Why do you think Kern hanged himself? I know he was happy. I have no idea. I can't believe he would do this. Someone offed him? Anything would be more believable. Okay. Remy Bell, you didn't know the Alien movies referenced Joseph Conrad. Yeah, that's cool. You mind answering a few questions? Remy don't mind. Remy knows sometimes people not want to talk to Remy. Remy not sure why. Maybe because Remy talked to himself in third person? What can you tell me about Kern's stay here? Do you see or hear anything unusual? Remy tell Kern, Meacham sucked. Remy helped him get zero cabbages on stinkycabbage.com. Wow. That's messed up, man. I'm not sure that would cause him to kill himself. Anything else you can think of? Remy wonder why you working for Miller. Remy hear Miller. Remy know he lied to you. Uh, he's lying? How would you know that? Remy know. Remy see Miller out in the swamp with golden cypress men in suits. What's that got to do with anything? Remy think Miller looked too happy in the swamp to complain. Hmm. Good point. Miller wouldn't ruin $500 Italian leather shoes for no reason. Ooh. Remy wonder why you working for Miller. Uh, yeah. The studio needs to process their insurance claim quickly. Pound of current flesh, you know. Remy wonder why. Remy no movies. Remy no production insurance not pay for actor suicide. Remy's the one that killed him. I should have known that. Maybe I'm too rusty at this. That's it. We figured it out. Remy, you're the one. The whole Remy talking I think it's time like to Remy. Oh, Get paid. Aw, Monroe. Let's do this. Um. Uh, okay, we're gonna do proper reporting. Um, Tina, cautious. Let's be edgy. Let's just be edgy. Source and shock. There you go. Wow. Um, to Donovan Miller, conducted an interview with primary source Dan Gray, subject's girlfriend. Gray's overall demeanor showed little effect and shock. She denies that subject was suicidal. Um, uh, 
Okay. Oh, I get paid more if I do this report. Hmm. It'll be edgy. We'll go. We'll go middle ground. Thanos, anything to say before this fight that's sure to be unbelievably bloody? I cannot die here. Terrific! And with that outstanding speech, let the fight begin! Multimedia Center? Look, they're in business together, they know what's up. They're gonna do just fine in this little town. So we are uh, doing pretty good. Let's uh, see what we can do in terms of tourism and leisure.